Washington House and Senate Republicans are rejecting President Barack Obama's suggestion to reform tax code that allows heirs to inherit extreme amounts of wealth largely tax-free. Let's close the loopholes that lead to inequality by allowing the top 1% to avoid paying taxes on their accumulated wealth, Obama said Tuesday night during his annual State of the Union address. We can use that money to help more families pay for child care and send their kids to college. The variety of tax strategies exist to shield much of an inheritance from taxation. And that, said Rep. Jason Chatfaze are Utah is as it should be. Chatfaze moved quickly from talking points to genuine anger in responding to the president's proposal. That's a non-starter. The audacity, that he thinks the government has a right to people's money. He wants to transfer wealth, Chatfaze said. It's one of the most immoral things you can do, is try to steal somebody's inheritance, to steal it away from their family. The Republican success over the last two decades in reshaping the debate over inheritance has virtually eliminated the taxes owed by the offspring of the uber wealthy, who inherit trusts set up in their names or stock on which they owe no capital gains taxes. The cost to the Treasury has been hundreds of billions of dollars, while the cost to the social fabric has come in yawning wealth inequality disconnected from the American notion of equal opportunity and reward for hard work. Popular debate around taxation over the last several decades has largely focused on income taxes. While Republicans have renamed the inheritance tax a death tax that destroys small businesses and family farms,